Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Children's Moments. In a moment, I am going to count to three. And when I count to three, you are going to point to where God is. All right? Got it? So I'm going to count to three, point to where God is. Ready? One, two, three. Well, that's a, that's a good answer. That's an interesting answer, but I, I'm not quite sure that's totally accurate. Um, let's try that one more time. Ready? I want you to point to where God is. Ready? One, two, three. Well, that's a, that's a good try at the answer. But the thing is, is we really can't see God, right? Like I can't look in this room and say, hey, there's God right over there. I can't really point to a direction and say this is where God is. It's, it's kind of mysterious that way. The amazing thing is that God is with us everywhere. God is all around us and we can't see God. And so it's really reassuring that everywhere we go, God is with us. But it's kind of tricky sometimes because we can't see God. And so sometimes people doubt that God exists because they can't see God. Sometimes people have a hard time believing that God is with them because they can't see God. And then it's sometimes hard to know what to do because we can't see God. How do you know and follow a God that you can't see? Well, the amazing thing is, is that God wants us to know him. And so he has given us all kinds of things that we can hold on to or see or touch that remind us of him. God has given us the Bible, which we can hold on to, which we can read, which we can hear, and which we can obey. God has given us symbols like baptism to remind us that Jesus died for us and rose again from the dead. God has given us symbols like communion, where we take the bread and we take the juice, and the bread reminds us of Jesus' body that was given for us, and the juice reminds us of his blood when he died for us, and we do this in remembrance of him. God has given us people in our lives that help us remember God and help us to follow after him. People like Jethro in the story that Bruce tells us today about Moses. All of these people can help us to know and follow Jesus. Now, what other things can you think of that remind you of Jesus? What kind of things that you can see and touch and hear? What kind of things has God put in your life that remind you of who God is? Well, those are awesome answers. God, we thank you that you are an awesome God. You're beyond our imagination and sometimes beyond every, anything we can understand. But you have given us great reminders, whether it's your word or baptism or communion or friends or any other example of something that we can see or experience that reminds us of who you are. Thank you that you are a God that wants to know us and wants us to know you. In Jesus' name, amen.